So, today I am cooking for the first time after I got my new countertops. Yeah, I'm not used to having this much space. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> so, I just thought I'd do a video on doing some Asian things. Actually, I should show you this. This part's kind of funny. Okay, so. Um, so our countertops are installed and our six aren't quite functional yet. Nelson's going to try to at least get the main sick done tonight after work because he forgot his gym shorts. So he has to skip the gym today and uh, come home and do rentals, which is okay. Either way, I'm good with whatever he chooses to do. But this is my sink. I love my sink. I told Tofu I can give him a bath in here. Tofu's my dog, my Jack Russell Terrier. We have a half functioning kitchen right now um, and it's kind of funny so let's say for it I need to get into my cutlery drawer I have to open it from the bottom right now because <laughs> I don't have the handles yet but that's okay life goes on right so yeah I just thought it'd be kind of fun for you guys to see or me learn how to maneuver around my kitchen since it is a first for me. And also it'll be fun, if, even if I don't end up posting this, it'll just be fun for me just to rewatch this and kind of laugh how I have to open up every single drawer in order to get to the top drawer. What are we making tonight? We are making sweet potato noodles stir fry. So, I'm just cutting these little baby bok choy's and we love eating these in this family because you can stir fry it or you can just do a quick blanch with it. It's really versatile and it's really yummy. I think some people eat these raw. I don't think I've ever had it raw. I don't know if I would eat it raw. You know like how sometimes you're just so used to eating something cooked that you just wouldn't eat it raw? This is one of those vegetables that I don't know if I would ever eat raw. Maybe. But I have to wash it really, 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 really well. Um, it's a very mild veg. So it can be paired with a lot of different, you know, meats if you if you cook with meat or just sauces or even just, like I said, plain blend with a little bit of salt. So good. Oh my gosh. I made these last week. All I did was garlic ginger garlic ginger and sesame sesame oil to finish it off so good in chinese we call it ting ting team which is like it's a very not bland but simple taste so it doesn't have like it doesn't taste really heavy which is always really nice and i've been cooking with a lot of ginger ever since having ginevra I, when i was pregnant with her i got into eating ginger i never used to like ginger but i started eating more ginger and started cooking with more ginger and it just kind of stuck and ginger's good I mean ginger I think they say it's an anti-inflammatory um, yeah it's tasty right we bought this like ginger honey um, we actually specifically go to uh, the delicious food show every year just to, to buy this honey because we absolutely love it um, yeah okay so once I'm done once I'm done cutting these, I have to go to my laundry room to wash the veg. Because like I said, my sink are not ready, they're not ready yet. Oh, and it's so easy to cut these baby baby choys. Baby choys. The the baby bok choys, they're really easy because like once you cut off the bottoms, they just separate. You don't have to do anything else with them. Oh, easy peasy. Which is great. So I'll be right back. I'm just gonna wash the veg. Hey, so that was relatively painless. So um, I like to, sorry, this is my microwave going if you hear beeping. I like to um, let veggies like that soak in water for about 10, 15 minutes. One just, I don't know, it feels cleaner and B, I find it loosens up any like dirt <laughs> stuck in the middle so that when I rinse it for a final time, it's just, it comes off easier. Um, so now I'm gonna prep some garlic and actually this is a really cool trick that Nelson taught me. You place it down on your mat, take your knife, Push down. Look it. It just pops right off. Huh. How easy is that? Again. 
Take it. Squish it. And it's done! Fastest and uh, garlic peeling ever. I wish it worked like that for onions, but then again, you'd have smushed up onions. I'm just going to mince it up. All right. I wish I had an easier way for to show you how to peel an onion, but there really isn't. I remember I grew up in a restaurant, so my parents, um, they still have a restaurant um, about four, three and a half to four hours away from Toronto, and um, I used to have to help cut onions, and I hated it. And I have not really discovered an easy way to peel an onion. This is what I do now though, which is actually a little bit better than what I used to do. It's a little bit more wasteful, but I cry a little bit less. So for me, it's worth it. So the world's biggest onion is in my hands. Ah, actually one of my girlfriends used to just eat this. Like she'll peel it and eat it like an apple. Could you do that? I. I I've never acquired a taste for raw onion. So yeah. So I cut off the bottom. I know people say, leave the bottom on, leave the bottom on. I tried it, I still cry. So I just do it this way. Okay, so I peel off the, I cut the top and the bottom off, okay? Then, from there, what I do is, I take my knife and I kind of score it like this, I just score it into one layer. Then, I just go. Or you can cut it in half. That's another option. I guess you can cut it in half. Why don't we cut it in half? Let's see what happens. Just cut it in half. There. Ooh, it's even easier. Awesome. Get rid of the brown parts. Oh, my eyes are burning already. I think it's because my eyes are like super dry all the time. And that's why it burns so much. So I cut off the brown parts. Because you don't want to cook those. Those are not tasty. Okay. Oh my gosh. My eyes, my eyes, my eyes. Okay. Now, one thing I don't understand is, you know when people you see on like cooking shows why they score it this way. I don't understand why they do it. I usually don't. So I just want one, two, and just cut it down. Of course, flat side down all the time. Oh, uh, I feel like sometimes I'm blind when I'm cutting onions. My eyes are burning. Okay, I don't even know if you can see my face right now. I can't open my eyes. So. While I let the stinging, while I wait for the stinging to go away, I'm going to start trying not to cry. No. <laughs> uh, it burns. Wow. I remember my mom, she used to like cut 10 onions without any shedding of tears. It's just like, I can barely open my eyes right now. Oh, my mom told me, oh, chew a piece of gum. But no, it didn't help. Some people say put it in a fridge, stick it in some water, but that just kind of deflates the taste of the onion. Oh, I can't see. I can't even see. Anyways, I will start uh, boiling water and maybe washing my eyes out. All right, now I'm marinating. The beef. Just use some salt, sugar, sesame oil. I can never say this right. I want to call it whoosh 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 I can never call this the right name. In Chinese, we call it ki zha. So whenever I'm doing, if I'm ever going to do any more cooking videos, we're calling this ki zha, which is Wor Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. I don't know. A little bit of soy sauce. A little more garlic. 
I know, I told you, we love the garlic in this household. And some ginger powder. If you have fresh ginger, it's really good too with fresh ginger. But I don't have any fresh ginger at home, so we're using ginger powder. All right. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. All right, and you just set this aside and get everything else done. So these will soften down just like spaghetti. See? Those ones are already softening down. So just help it along, push it down. These are really good. I've had, I've had this before. I've never made this particular dish that I'm, sh I'm filming today. I just thought I'd give it a try. But uh, yeah. Mmm. See, all softened down. Now I just need to let that cook for ten minutes. Simple as that. A good way to know whether or not your your oil is hot enough is you stick a pair of chopsticks, just the tip. All right. If you see it bubbling. That means that the oil is hot enough. So it's not bubbling yet, so i got to wait another minute. Well, I actually don't know how long I have to wait yet because it's my second time using this particular, this range. Oh, see, 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 see the bubbles? Means the oil's hot. All right, it is ready to sizzle. Mmm, it smells so good in my kitchen right now. I love it. The smell of sauteing onions. So good. Okay, so let's check out my noodles. So what I did is I already took the, uh, well, I poured out all the um, the hot water because it was about 10 minutes. And I did a cold bath just to stop the cooking process. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in it, I think, just to help prevent it from sticking until I'm ready for it. All right, but it looks really good. Yeah, it's the right, right, right texture. But these onions smell so good. As much as I hate cutting onions, I love the smell of them cooking in my house. So my onions and garlics are now really nice and caramelized. So I'm going to go in and add in the beef. Yeah, baby? Yeah? Your Play-Doh works? That's great! Oh! Trying to get as much of the beef on the bottom as possible so that I can get that nice caramelization on it. Oh, it smells so good. You get that little hint of ginger. Mmm, that sesame oil is coming through. It smells fabulous. I can't tell you how much I am in love with this silver nut. Check this out. Look at it's been literally like a minute. Look at the caramelization. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. The stove is like super duper. Ugh. In Chinese we say mang or mang. <laughs> and those who are Asian and watching, listening to me, yes, I know I have an accent, but it's like super strong. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Their skirt before. It burns. Oh my goodness. So now I'm just going to add in the veg. I need a bigger wok. The pile was this high and is already breaking down because as the veggies will, of course, it'll take up less space, right? And so, once I get it flat enough-ish and put a lid on it, let it do its thing, it will be eating soon. Well, I gotta add in the noodle. And then we'll be eating soon. See, look at that, look at that. Shrinks. 
so much. Vanilla seal, vanilla cook, and then it'll be delicious. All right, are you ready to eat? Mmm. I just need to add the noodles in and then we're done. See you in my tummy. Mm.